Hey, I'm Anna and together with my husband Ola, we have traveled throughout the whole of Canada. We have visited Niagara, Toronto, Calgary, Banff and Jasper National Parks, Whistler and Vancouver. We have seen marvelous lakes, mountains and wildlife, cute little villages and big cities. Sometimes we have been amazed by the beauty of this country and sometimes not so pleasantly surprised. We have experienced 30 degrees Celsius temperature drops in just a few days this summer. We traveled by plane and by car, stayed in hotels and tried to eat good quality food as much as it was possible. And now we're here to show you everything. Let's discover Canada together. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Anna and my channel is about shopping, travel, beauty and so much more. And today's video is going to be a shopping haul from the outlet that we have recently visited. This is an outlet collection at Niagara. This is an official name of this outlet situated next to Niagara Falls in Canada. It is also really not far from Toronto. If you are in Toronto region, you can definitely visit this outlet. Outlet collection at Niagara is quite a long name, so further in the video I'm just going to say Niagara Outlet and we have spent half of the day in this outlet. We liked it, but we had mixed feelings about it. Uh, I have a video about our visit to the Niagara outlet on my channel already. If you haven't watched uh, it, I highly advise you to watch it uh, if you're interested in this topic. I will leave uh, the link to this video in the description down, down below. And well, in that video, I already told you my impressions about the outlet, but today I'm going to talk about it a little bit more and obviously I'm going to show you what we got there and tell you the prices of the things that we got, compare them to the regular prices so that together with you we could analyze the discounts that they offer in this outlet and to just understand if the outlet uh, at Niagara is worth it. For those who haven't watched my video from the outlet, I will just briefly say that outlet collection at Niagara is mostly mass market brands outlet. And I think there were a few premium brands, but this is mostly mass market brands outlet, which is situated between Niagara Falls and Niagara on the Lake. It's really closer to Niagara on the Lake. And uh, this is quite a big mall and we spent half of the day there, but I think you can spend the whole day there if you're going through all of the shops. It depends what exactly you are interested in in there by the way the reason why we found ourselves next to this outlet is because we were doing a trip across Canada we were visiting lots of Canadian cities and beautiful Canadian sites and all of these videos are on my channel and I will keep on uploading them that was an absolutely unforgettable trip so if you are interested in the topic of Canada of traveling in Canada of shopping of food out there subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and you will find lots of interesting things for yourself. So while we were in the Niagara region, we were visiting Niagara on the lake, which is the cutest town. And we were visiting Niagara Falls, obviously. That was just an adventure of a lifetime. And we saw that there was an outlet mall, which we, ha which we didn't plan to visit, but it was really not far from our hotel and we decided to go there. In our trip, we had only one outlet planned, which is is uh, the only luxury outlet uh, in the whole of Canada which is the Toronto luxury outlet and that one will be further on our trip and you will find a video from that mall uh, in a few weeks on my channel I think uh, but this one happened unexpectedly but we were happy to discover it and we were happy to visit it and to see what the mass market outlet is like in Canada. Among the shops that we visited in this outlet were Victoria's Secret, Ralph Lauren, Lulu Lemon, American Eagle Outfitters and Airy, also Levi's, uh, Bath and Body Works and some others. You will see all of the shops that we visited in this outlet in my video from the outlet. I'm uh, filming inside of the shops as much as possible because it's not always um, allowed to film inside of the shops, but I'm filming inside as much as possible. I'm filming for you the, the items, the selection of items that you can see in the shops and also sometimes I'm filming the prices for you. But it is interesting that here in Canada I noticed that in the outlets they don't always write you uh, the final 
this price with a discount on the price tag. Sometimes you can see the regular price on the price tag and then somewhere above the shelves you will see a sign like 30% off for everything. And then you kind of have to calculate in your head the price that you're going to have for your item you have to minus the discount and also you have to add the tax uh, the sales tax in uh, Ontario which is where Niagara is situated is 13% it's really not a small tax in my opinion so you have to consider this when you're looking at the price tags inside of the outlet maybe for Canadians or for uh, people from the United States it's something that they are really used to but for Europeans that is a very new thing and for us it's really strange to see the price tag and then when you're paying you're paying more and then you're surprised because sometimes you forget to add this sales tax in your head without further ado let's get to the shopping hall and let's see what we've got in the outlet these are not a lot of things because we didn't uh, plan to buy lots of things we didn't really need lots of things but i think these will be good examples to see what kind of things you can find there and what kind of discounts you can expect Expect out there if you have any questions about the outlet the brands the prices please write them in the comments below I will be happy to answer you so I think the first brand that I'm going to show you uh, the first brand from uh, which I bought something from was Aerie Aerie is a brand that belongs to American Eagle Outfitters if you didn't know uh, this brand I think it started only with um, underwear with um, like bras and pants but now they have lots of things there they have casual clothes everyday wear beach wear and they have active wear and what I loved this time there was their active wear I wanted to buy their underwear as well because it's it's very comfy but the selection was really really small and really limited if you are in a small size or extra small size even medium size it's quite it will be quite hard for you to find underwear in the outlet in victoria's secret their underwear started from the size m they didn't have anything from the s size at all and in uh, air reef in american eagle outfitters they had uh, some underwear in the size s but really not a lot and in some crazy colors i think in cotton they had almost nothing so what I focused on there was their active wear and I was really pleasantly surprised. Generally the thing that I noticed in Canada is that people wear active wear really really a lot out there. It doesn't really feel like people are more active in Canada than in Europe. It's not like they are more fit than in Europe but they just wear active wear really a lot. I feel like any time that people are not going to work where they have the, this like special dress code they're wearing active wear in Canada that's why they have really lots of active wear brands out there those active wear brands are super popular like Lululemon or Allo for someone from Europe this is something that we're not really used to because people in Europe they work out a lot here in Poland I think almost everyone goes to the gym and works out but we wear active wear only to the gym when we are uh, during like weekends or after work spending time outside we don't wear active wear we wear other casual clothes like jeans or uh, other kind of outfits that's why we don't have that many active wear shops brands here so I was really happy to discover these things in Canada I really really loved uh, the Airy brand and their their active wear so these are the two sports bras that I got for myself and let's get uh, to the first one this is a simple white uh, sports bra looks like this on the back I like that the back is kind of closed it's not that open so it feels like you feel protected in this bra it's not super light and here you have the pads but they are easily removable if you don't want them uh, i've already worn all of these things and all of them are super super comfortable so that is the first one and the second one is black uh, this one has a similar shape 
I think it is it is shorter than the than the white one. Uh, here, yeah, the white one is longer. I love them both. Uh, here, the fabric is ripped, and you have removable uh, pads uh, as well. Here is my pair of leggings. I feel like uh, they are perfect for summer because this fabric is really light and thin, but at the same time, you kind of feel that they hold you together they like your body sits sits in them nicely if you understand what i mean because a pair of leggings sometimes can make you feel like you're almost naked and in this one you don't feel this way but at the same time they are not too thick and you don't feel like too hot and i also really like this top part this crossover element i think it is really really flattering and it makes your silhouette look better. It's the same on the front and on the back. Obviously, the prices of these things were in Canadian dollars, but for better understanding of the general audience in here, I'm going uh, to tell all of the prices in American dollars. So I will first tell you the price, the regular price for this kind of thing in American Eagle, in American dollars, and then I will tell you the price that I paid for this kind of thing converted to American dollars. So the pair of leggings. Uh, this exact pair of leggings is a, a usual um, model in uh, uh, airy brand. They have this uh, pair of leggings there all the time. They just repeat it in different colors. And um, this is called a crossover legging. And uh, the regular price is uh, $44.95, uh, which is uh, about 45 American dollars. And honestly, I think that they are really worth the full price. $45 for this part, pair of leggings, I think it's, it's a good price because going a little bit to the future, I have uh, visited Lululemon, regular stores of Lululemon and Allo, and I've seen that people love these brands so much and they buy from this brand so much. And the prices there are so much higher. They are two, three times higher. Like a price of $100 for a pair of leggings there is normal. And in my opinion, this pair of leggings is not worth than Lululemon. We'll see how I'm going to wear them. If they are going to, uh, you know, get worse uh, very fast. If the quality of the fabric is going to get worse very fast. I don't know. But for now, as they are new and I've been wearing them uh, already a few times, I feel like they are not worse than Lululemon and I would totally pay the full price for them. But the price that I paid for this pair of leggings is 35 American dollars, which is $10 uh, less. And I think that is a nice discount. And I'm really, really happy I got them. If I knew uh, back then that they are going to be so comfortable, I think I would buy more than one pair. Then going to the sports bras. Uh, both of these sports bras uh, have a regular price in an um, airy brand of 39.95 American dollars, almost 40 American. Uh, American dollars. Again, it's not super cheap, but I think comparing to the brands like Lululemon, this price is, is okay and the quality is good as well. Especially, I really like the fabric on this white one. It's really nice and soft and I almost feel like I want to wear this top not only to the gym. And the price that I paid for this white sports bra is $22.6 and the price that I paid for the black sports bra is 20 American dollars. So as you can see for the sports bras we got almost a 50% discount which is really really good I think. So with these kind of prices I think that if you're interested in uh, airy brands the outlet in Niagara is totally worth it. Let's Let's get to the other brand and the other brand is going to be Polo by Ralph Lauren. I filmed everything in Polo Ralph Lauren's shop quite a lot so if you are interested in this brand in particular you should definitely check out my video from the outlet because I, I filmed almost everything they had in store that day and one of the things that I bought there for myself is the t-shirt that is on me at the moment. This is a simple cotton t-shirt from Ralph Lauren, the one that they have uh, all the time in their collection and it's, it's super comfy. I think it is 100% cotton. I've cut out the the tag already but it feels like 100% cotton uh, it is definitely a loose fit it is not a slim fit 
but I think it's it's going to look best while tucked in inside of your jeans, pants or shorts. You know, I often say that when it is 100% cotton, it really doesn't matter from which brand you're getting it. You can get 100% cotton t-shirt from H&M and it's going to be really, really good. But sometimes you want to get a little bit fancy and you want to have the tiny logo somewhere. And uh, that is when Polaroid Florent comes in the game and I like it because the logo is not huge, it's not too much in your face, but at the same time it's still there, it's making your look a little bit elevated, you know. So the price of this t-shirt, uh, reg the regular price uh, of this kind of t-shirt in Ralph Lauren stores is usually, attention, about $90, which is, I think is a lot for a 100% cotton t-shirt without anything else. I was looking at Ralph Lauren's prices on Farfetch website and there the prices for t-shirts of Ralph Lauren like this, they were not the same for all of the colors. They were a little bit different, but they were about $90. For some it was like 88, for another one it was 92, so about $90. And the price that I paid for this t-shirt was 29.6 American dollars, which I think is a great deal. I think this t-shirt is totally worth it worth uh, 30 dollars and if you're interested in buying a t-shirt right like this i think outlet is a really good idea for you by the way they didn't uh, only have like bright colors like this they also had um, basic colors like if you don't want something bright like yellow like i have if you want white one or navy one they had those colors there as well and another thing that i got there is a cable knit cotton sweater this is a hundred percent uh, cotton sweater it's really soft to the touch i actually wanted to have a cable knit sweater from ralph lauren uh, a cotton one like this for a long time but i wasn't sure i wanted to pay the full price so when i saw the sweater in the outlet i was sure i'm going i'm going to take it so this is the white color they also had the, like a you know a milky beige shade out there not really beige it's like an oatmeal milky shade something like this but i went for a totally white color which i think looks really crisp and nice and uh, this this is a kind of sweater that you can throw over your shoulders in summer for example if it's a little bit chilly outside or you can wear in spring it's not a you know a winter sweater or it's not like an autumn square it's more of a spring summer sweater and i like uh, I, I like it for this reason because i didn't have any sweater of this kind i think so uh, the price uh, of this sweater of any kind of cable knit sweater like this from uh, ralph lauren is uh, usually 148 american dollars which is not a crazy price but it, it's not inexpensive this is quite a lot i think for a simple 100 percent cotton product but what i paid for this sweater was 106 dollars it's not a really huge discount it's not 50 percent discount but it is a good discount i've already worn this sweater it felt premium you know i don't know maybe this is just in my head because of the logo but in my opinion the material the fabric feels premium and it's really comfy i like it and i think it is worth a hundred dollars that you are paying for it and well that was everything that i got in ralph lauren i didn't get anything else i also was looking at their classic shirts that they do you know the famous ralph lauren shirts the basic ones in like white color or white and blue stripes but I think those shirts were more than a hundred dollars and in my opinion that is not that much worth it as you can buy a sweater for the same price. Maybe I will change my mind later and buy one for this price but for now I wasn't sure that I wanted it for that price. Another shop where we went was Under Armour. I am personally not a fan of Under Armour brand because I prefer my active wear to be more girly and more fun but my husband is a fan of Under Armour and we went there to see some uh, things for him to go to the gym like clothes to wear to the gym and we got a simple uh, t-shirt for him out there I don't have it next to me right now but I want to just tell you the price for you to understand uh, what kind of discounts are there and the discount there is really not huge uh, we paid uh, for 
or, or actually it's not small you know we paid for this uh, t-shirt 11.4 uh, American dollars which is close to nothing and the regular price for this t-shirt is about $20 so the regular price is not high $20 for the t-shirt but the discount is almost 50% so it's 11.4 I think it's a quite a good discount if you need to buy like lots of things from from this brand like you you need you need to stock up on sports stuff from Under Armour I think that's a place for you you know 50% discount is not a bad deal and the next and the last shop from which we bought something for ourselves was Levi's shop I recently bought I think that is the first pair of Levi's jeans in my life and well that is strange i didn't really pay attention for brands like levi's in my life because i felt like they were really not my kind of thing because i was more into fashion and when i looked uh, for jeans i would go to zara or if i want something more expensive i would Go to Calvin Klein or to Marge or I got jeans in Topshop and I never looked at proper jeans brands and that was a huge mistake. I recently got for myself uh, the pair of jeans from Levi's which is called 501. I'm absolutely in love with this pair of jeans and if you haven't tried that pair of jeans for yourself I think you should definitely do it because it's really flattering for lots of silhouettes and when we went to the outlet, um, Levi's outlet in Niagara, I wanted to see if they have something for, for me there as well, but uh, in my size, they didn't have uh, any pair of jeans uh, without uh, the ribs in them, and I didn't want to have jeans like that. I wanted to have like plain jeans, which would be more classy and for all of the seasons. So I didn't buy anything there for myself, but we got two pairs of jeans there for my husband and the deal out there in Levi's was is that you get a special price only if you buy two pairs of jeans. It was not too, uh, a super easy task to find two pairs of jeans that fit you out there, but it is possible for a man. I feel like their selection for men is bigger than for women maybe because they sell out jeans for women faster than for men. So we managed to buy two pairs of jeans for, jeans for my husband. The model that we got for him is 514 and we got one pair of jeans in the like light blue color for summer and another one that we have is a dark color which will fit uh, colder months of the year better. And uh, the price was really really good. Uh, the regular price of Levi's jeans uh, is about a hundred dollars I think uh, are everywhere around the world it can be a little bit more a little bit less but it is, it is about a hundred dollars and the price that we paid for the for a pair of jeans is 59 dollars uh, which is a 40 percent discount and I think that is a really good discount and I'm really happy we we found these two pairs for my husband He's, he now has to something to wear during the whole year I'm really really happy about it and that was everything that we got in the outlet collection at Niagara I think I expected more from this outlet but in the end after I look at what I got I'm really happy that I found these pieces I think these discounts were really good and it was worth it spending half of the day there discovering the outlet in Canada and buying these things and I hope you liked this video and you found it useful if you did don't forget to push the like button next videos on my channel are going to be our vlogs from Toronto we had lots of fun in Toronto we drank lots of coffee had really fun fun date nights we visited museums and we went shopping as well and then we visited the luxury shopping mall which is called Toronto designer outlet that was a really fun experience as well and as I said it's going to be on my channel in a few weeks after the Toronto vlogs don't forget to subscribe and push the bell not to miss those videos I will see you very soon bye